Hello. Um, I want to talk about radical feminism. Um, and uh, I know I've talked about this before, calling yourself a radical feminist. Um, without knowing any of the radical feminist theory or philosophy. I think, uh, because, uh, where to start? I see a lot of racism, I see a lot of homophobia, and I see a lot of, um, pushback when radical feminist theory and pillars are presented. Um, outrage even, or taking it as personal attacks on someone's, uh, life when it really has nothing to do with them. Um, I think, unfortunately, uh, what I'm realizing, um, I've been in radical feminism for six and a half years now, and what I'm seeing lately, the last couple of years, is um, tons of women suddenly who are calling themselves radical feminists, which is great. because the more voices we have, the, the better, obviously. But what I'm noticing is that it appears that um, the majority, unfortunately, the majority seem to think that they, they don't support trans ideology, they don't support pornography, and they don't support sex work and prostitution. Therefore, they're radical feminists. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> there is a lot more to radical feminist theory than just that and I think it's be- it becomes very obvious when you talk about actual radical feminist philosophies like separatism, um, female only spaces no matter what, uh, antinatalism, things like that and you see women getting really up in arms and personally offended. Um, But I thought you were a radical feminist. So to me, this says that the majority of women who are calling themselves radical feminists haven't read radical feminist literature or theory, Uh, which is not good. Not good. you should be educating yourself on what it means to be anything before you call yourself that thing. Um, so it's been quite frustrating as somebody who has read a lot of radical feminist literature and theory to see radical feminist ideas really pushed back against by women who call themselves radical feminists. Because they personally don't like it. Huh? (laughs) You... I mean, there's lots of things that we don't like in life. And... If something is personally offensive to you, that's where you should start evaluating why and what it means to you and where it fits in with radical feminist actual theory and framework. Um, Yeah. uh, Radical feminism is a political movement. So your personal feelings and beliefs aren't and shouldn't be accounted for in political theory. Um, In fact, the political theory should be what begins to influence your personal beliefs. (sighs) I, yeah, I suggest y'all look for a PDF online because there's tons. Radfem.org is a great place to start. Go to your library, you know, uh, get some Mary Daly books. Get some Andrea Dworkin books. Um... (laughs) Start reading, please.